So something um, which comes up when we're discussing circuits is different types of circuits. And there are two main types of circuits, electrical circuits. They are series and parallel circuits. And I've got a picture of a series circuit and a parallel circuit here. So this here is a series circuit and parallel. This is a parallel circuit. So there are two different types of circuits. Um, you can see they're quite similar in that both of these circuits have got uh, two light globes. One, two. They've both got a battery and they've both got a switch as well. So they've all got the same kind of components in them, but they're arranged a little bit differently. So in a series circuit, all of the loads, or if they're globes, all of the light globes are connected in a series, so in a line, all together. So these are all in a straight line with each other. Whereas in a parallel circuit, <coughs> the light globes are connected you know, parallel to each other. So one above the other, um, joined up by wires. And again here, you know, so they're connected in parallel, one on top of the other. So something that's different about series and parallel circuits is um, basically the way that they make the globes work. So in a series circuit, all of the globes in a series shine at, they all share the power of the battery, I suppose. So the more light globes I add to a series circuit, the less and less bright all of the globes become all together. Whereas in a parallel circuit, all of the light globes shine with equal and brightest um, brightness. So the battery gives its full power, I suppose, to all the light globes. So I could have 10 light globes in a parallel circuit and they'd all be just as bright as if I had one light globe. Whereas if I had 10 light globes in a series circuit, all of the globes would glow at about one tenth of the brightness as if I had just one globe in a series circuit. So in series circuit, the globes will glow less bright. In parallel, um, they'll all gl glow um, as bright as they can. So, you know, that's a pros and cons thing. Something else about series and parallel circuits is if I have a switch in this um, series circuit and I close this switch, so I close this switch here, then all the light globes will glow and they'll all be on. But if I open the switch and I have a gap here, so electricity can't flow, so there's a gap here, then all of the light globes will turn off. So I can either have all of the light globes on or all of the light globes off, but nothing really in between. On this parallel circuit here, the way it's set up at the moment, if I turn this switch on, both light globes will turn on. So electricity will run around here and around here and continue to go around the circuit. Um, if I close, if I open the switch so electricity stops flowing, um, then neither of the light globes will go on. But something that's really important here, if I instead put um, a different switch here, and I put a different switch here, what I could do is, if this switch was closed, or not even there, sometimes I could close this switch and turn this light globe on. Sometimes I could close both switches and have both light globes on. Sometimes I could just, I could just close this switch and have that light globe on, and sometimes I could have this switch open and have that light globe off. So in a series circuit, all the globes have to be on or off, and in a parallel circuit, you can have some of the globes on and some of them off at different times. So in fact, what you'll find is that in your house, you can turn some globes on and some globes off, and all the globes are always glowing at equal brightness. And that's because in your house, all of your light globes are connected in parallel, not in series. So there's different ways to connect circuits, um, connect electrical circuits, and you'll find that in your house, all of your light globes, and in fact, all of the electrical appliances in your house are connected in parallel.